hi everyone today in this video let us discuss propranolol what is this drug propranolol the sphix alol indicates that this drug is a beta blocker propranolol is having propranol moiety generally catecholamines having the enthol moiety but propranolol is a beta blocker which acts as antagonist that's why it is having propranolol chain instead of enthol chain generally when there is an increased cardiac workload it increases the number of impulses passing through the heart which increases the oxygen consumption to the heart consumption is excessively increased in resulting in decreased oxygen supply in such condition cardiac muscle cannot get the sufficient oxygen resulting in development of angina the pain development in the heart due to lack of oxygen supply so this angina can observe with palpitations and sometimes the cardiac work is also associated with the development of anxiety whenever anxiety is going to be more development it can increase the heart rate and cardiac work and finally the raised cardiac work can also increase the hypertension resulting in the rise in the blood pressure so all these conditions are associated with increased cardiac workload which is mainly affected by sympathetic disorders that's why propranolol can be used in management of angina irregularly heart beats tachycardia as prophylactic is can be used in the treatment of anxiety and it can also be used to reduce hypertension so for all these cardiovascular disorders propranolol can be used and this propranolol is non selective beta blocker it means it can block the beta 1 receptor which are located on the heart resulting in the decreased cardiac work that's why the drug is indicated for various cardiovascular disorders such as angina tachycardia hypertension and myocardial infarction for all these conditions propranolol can be used but this drug not only blocks the beta 1 receptors it can also block beta 2 receptors so it is not selective towards this beta 1 and beta 2 it can block both these receptors so by blocking beta 2 receptors propranolol can affect so many types of organs it can affect the functionality of lungs liver kidney and blood vessels but because of non selectivity of propranolol can be used in various clinical condition it can be used in treatment of migraine prophylaxis where severe headache and may be associated with the activation of sympathetic system it can also be used in management of pathological tremor which is again tumor where the released catecholamines can activate the beta 1 receptors which are blocked by propranolol and even in this drugs can be used in treatment of hypertrophy where ventricular walls are thickened again in such condition propranolol are reduce the cardiac work thereby increase the cardiac functionality in this way propranolol is one of the beta blockers which is indicated in the various clinical conditions even propranolol can also be used in prophylaxis of hyperthyroidism so today in this video we are going to see how this drug acts what are the important precautions side effects doses all these things will be discussed in this video first of all let us see the chemical now instead of ethanol nature of this drug so this is the structure of propranolol here we can identify the propranolol chain let give the numbering this is 1 2 3 now instead of ethanol this drug is having propranolol chain so we can write this as propane 2 ol third position amine group is present so 3 amino to this amine group isopropyl chain is attached with can be written as propane to oil finally at the first position this entire ring is present this ring is nothing but the naphthyl ring which is attached by first position through the oxygen so we can write this as one naphthalene one oil oxy that is the complete name of propranolol now let us see how this drug acts on the heart beta 1 receptors are present these are the receptors when nor epinephrine binds to this beta 1 receptors they are activated resulting in stimulation of 
एडिनलाइल साइकिलेज सिस्टम दिस एडिनलाइल साइकिलेज कैन कन्वर्ट ए टी पी मोलिकोल इन दो वन सेकेंडरी मसेंजर साइकिलिक ए एम पी दिस साइकिल ए एम पी प्लेज एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल एंड दिस कंपोनेंट्स रिजल्टिंग इन द कंट्रैक्शन रिजल्टिंग इन द एलिवेटेड लेवल्स ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड कंट्रैक्शन ऑफ कार्डिक मसल फॉर इंस्टेंस दे कैन टारगेट वोल्टेड गेटेड कैल्शियम चैनल लोकेटेड ऑन द हार्ट प्रोटीन काइनेज ए कैन इंट्रैक्ट विद द अल्फा सब यूनिट ऑफ वोल्टेज गेटेड कैल्शियम ऑफ चैनल रिजल्टिंग इन द फोसफोराइलेशन सो वैन इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी फोसफोराइलेटेड द आइन चैनल इज गोइंग टू बी ओपन रिजल्टिंग इन द एंट्री ऑफ कैल्शियम इन दिस वे प्रोटीन काइनेज एज इंक्रीज द इनफ्लैक्स ऑफ कैल्शियम इन टू द कार्डिक मसल सिमिलरली इट कैन आल्सो बी अफेक्ट इंटरनल स्टोर ऑफ द रहनोडो रिसेप्टर्स Hernodino receptor. So when impulse reaches through the cardiac muscle, more amount of calcium can be released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. In this way, protein kinases are a can increase the contractility of cardiac muscles, and the target is protein kinases a can interact with the troponin such that it can increase the phosphorylation, resulting in the activation of proponin myosin complex which again results in the contraction of cardiac muscle in this way norepinephrine can produce the cardiac contraction which results in the increased heart rate increased oxygen consumption increased cardiac work and elevated levels of blood pressure all these are because of activation of heart through the sympathetic activation proponin is a beta blocker it can bind the beta 1 receptors and antagonists thereby can block the cardiac muscle and decrease in the cardiac work in this way propranolol can reduce the sympathetic stimulation thereby you can be used in the treatment of cardiac heart is beating too fast this is propranolol receptor this is known as epinephrine and epinephrine they are also known as adrenaline This is calcium. These are calcium channels. Norepinephrine and epinephrine bind. They provide energy needed to open the calcium channels in the heart. Let's see what happens when too many calcium channels are opened. Calcium can enter into the tissues of the heart. The ionic charge of calcium initiates the electrical conduction of the heart. causing it to beat more calcium into the heart equals a stronger heart beat when too much calcium enters into the heart it start to beat too hard you can see here the electrical signal shooting rapidly this is stimulated by too much calcium entering the heart causing a harder heart beat the harder the heart beat the more blood it pushes out heart is beating too fast due to the binding of norepinephrine and epinephrine the propranolol receptor in the heart this puts stress on the blood vessels it increases blood pressure to stop binding of norepinephrine and epinephrine we can use propranolol let's see how they work they stop norepinephrine and epinephrine from attaching the propranolol receptor the decrease the available energy needed to open the calcium channels to the cell calcium channel close with increased or uh, decreased calcium connection slows down to the regular pace this reduces the strength of heart beat with a softer heart beat blood is not pushes with out as much force which reduces the blood pressure the propranolol receptor in the heart are mostly propranolol receptors but other propranolol receptors exist in the body like propranolol receptors propranolol can be selective for propranolol receptors or non selective and work on both propranolol and propranolol receptors what are the precautions one of the important precautions of propranolol is that because of non selectively selectivity this drug can block the two beta 2 receptors located on the lung so this drug can produce some bronchospasm that's why the propranolol should be carefully used in the asthmatic patients this drug is contraindicated because of bronchospasm similarly this drug can block the beta 2 receptor located on the liver resulting in the decrease hepatic glucose production which may increase the hypoglycemia this is 
particularly more important in the diabetic patients where they are treated with anti-diabetic agents which produce hypoglycemia. So in such patients, it propanolol is given, it can further increase the hypoglycemia. So in the diabetic patient, propanolol should be carefully used. What are the side effects? Propanolol can cross the blood brain barrier, so it can be produced few of central side effects resulting in the fatigue rate resulting in bradycardia it can also reduce in blood pressure resulting in hypotension at high dose it can also reduce the arteroventricular block so it can should be carefully used in patients with any conduction blocks and finally this drug can also produce hypersensitivity reactions resulting in the skin rashes and erythema can be observed in this drug However, in it again given this is available as tablet form as well as capsules and it is also available as extended release capsules where the drug is slowly released from this capsule and it is also available as solution. The dose of propranolol depends on the type of clinical indication of a hypertension. So some cardiac disorders it may be started at 80 mg initial dose but in case of several disorders this dose may be increased so the general dose size is variable from 80 to 30 mg per day which can given as divided doses so that's about the drug propanolol which is non-selectivity beta blocker which blocks the both beta 1 as well as beta 2 receptor because of non-selectivity this drug can be used in various cardiovascular conditions as well as prophylactic in migraine thyroxy thyrotoxicosis, pathological tremor, and even phenochromocytoma. In all these conditions, propanolol can be used. This drug may be produced bronchospasm, so it should be carefully given, and it can be also increase the hypoglycemia, particularly in diabetic patients. So that's about this drug, propanolol. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Okay, Allah Hafiz.